Good morning everybody, it is 4 a.m. on day 11 of Challenge Master. In today's episode we are going to be working on the base some more and we might even be getting a mini bike rolling together. And maybe even a bit of wrenching. Uh, so, all that being said, I'm going to uh, roll my challenges for the episode and uh, see what we get. And be back in just a second. And I've just gotten back with my challenge uh, for the mission uh, for the episode, and it is to increase tool quality by 50 levels. Uh, tool crafting quality, and then the potential reward is an AK-47 barrel, and then uh, the uh, the and the penalty is uh, don't use 760 ammo for the next episode. So a bit of a challenge, but this is mostly staying at home. Not really that big of a deal. Um, let's see. Take care of my old uh, infection there. I do have my. I'm trying to think here. I do need some more mechanical parts for my second workbench. I was one to craft that, and I do need some more for the. Oh, what am I thinking of? For another work bin. Uh, no, cement mixer. Sorry, my words are getting tangled up. And... So with this uh, fire axe, we started out at level 175, we're at... So, we gotta get to level 225 on... on toolsmithing. And... I apologize, I'm, I lost words. Yeah, we're kind of so level hook, the goal is level 225, and I do want to raid the Shagan Messiah over here and maybe even pick up the loot from the police station that I left him before day 7. Yeah, we got a little bit of wrenching to do, so I'll meet you guys over at the Shagan Messiah in just a second. And we're at Shagan Messiah. We got the sweat hanging out over here. Come here, buddy. Take you down real quick. There you go. I did make myself a barb club finally overnight. Oh, 214. Nice little quality level. A little bit of beer and water to start out the morning in the shopping cart. Start wrenching it down. Shopping carts can give you a maximum of three mechanical parts, which if you did. I noticed it's like you can tell when you're gonna get the three mechanical parts. Uh, you got all the mechanical parts if you go down to. Uh, how much is it? It's. Uh, By, uh, when you go past 225 hit points, uh, that's your first chance for a mechanical part. Come on, Curly. And then, you're guaranteed one mechanical part per shopping cart. And once you go halfway, which, uh, the shopping carts have 300 hit points, and, uh... And then you have the... Hit point of any. Uh, then the last uh, chance for your mechanical parts for that shopping cart is... What am I trying to say? Uh, it's going to be... 75 hit points. So you have a chance of 225 hit points and then 75 hit points is uh, your other chance for it. Did repair these shorts overnight. Um... They are better protection than the BDU bottoms, so just because the BDUs are lower quality. 
So yeah, 225 hit points I got my mechanical part, there's my guaranteed. And then, I only got two mechanical parts. So if you wanted to save durability on your wrench, you could just, uh... You could just not wrench it down after you drop below 75, but... I'm not too worried about it. It's, I got a spare wrench that I can... craft to you. I've got 26 mechanical parts. Yeah, I feel like I have two of all the workstations, or three out of this, uh... Kind of shopping cart. Oh, morning curly. But I feel like having two of all the workstations is pretty good for... for crafting purposes. There you go, curly. Ooh, nice pistol. Let's see, I don't know what the parts are like on it. Oh, they're all pretty good. Sometimes, like, uh... If you see a handgun like that in the world, it's like, uh, I check it just to see, like... Because sometimes they could have, like, a really good quality part in it that's uh, bringing up all the pieces. Ooh, it's SMG schematic. I also got a rocket launcher schematic. Um... Hunting knife. That's not really worth reading. Got a pistol barrel. I did just now remember from the last episode did do a mission success, so did re so I can reward myself with a shotgun short barrel. Let's see. Um, this is how I sort through quality levels on stuff. I just do this back and forth all day. There we go, that'll do. I like keeping this uh, low quality. And the old filing cabinet, not really. Shotgun, but yeah, I think hoping. Figured, like, uh, since I read Shotgun Messiah in the other town, would be a good idea to raid this, because, uh, I've been putting it off for a while. Let's see what's in the old bathroom. Nothing in the sink. Nothing really in there. Got some murky water and poop. I'll actually save the poop for later on down the line once I have, uh... Once I have the old, uh... Fertilizer up and going because I do want to get a farm going. Ooh, nice, AK-47 receiver. Um, we'll, we'll just leave that in there. Close to home, and I don't really want to drop stuff all willy-nilly. Looks like somebody already broke into the back. It might have been a zombie. Shotgun long barrel. Ooh, what do we got? Pistol parts, level 548. That's gonna be a really nice uh, upgrade in quality for the pistol. My current pistol is uh, level uh, 192. With this uh, uh, yellow quality, uh, good, which is, uh, ooh, AK 47 parts. If I actually get the challenge, I might, uh, I might actually have enough for a full AK-47. The only thing I'd be missing would be the stock, but then again, I have to complete the challenge. Chainsaw schematic? Very nice. Got some paper. That's not, not too much. I think, uh... With all the, uh, check to see if I raided this side of the store or not. Forgot about this. There we go. A couple trophies. I'm gonna go and just, uh, put some stuff over in the uh, cop shop chest, and I'll uh, get to raiding uh, Shamway.
Breaking into old Shamway here. Got Bob wanting to open up the shop here. How nice here, Bob. Ow. Thank you for the nice little greeting, Bob. There we go. Blood trophy. How nice you. Yeah. Turns out the shopping cards got up to 36 mechanical parts now. Got enough for the old, uh... Cement mixer and workbench. I just gotta find a... Another engine for a car. Shopping bag can you use that. Ooh, level 324. Means can do... Can bring more loot home for shopping. On a mini bike once I get that built up. Just reach this down real quick. Only one out of there. Not much of a problem. Let's see what's in the old bathroom. Cooking pot. A couple things in the trash can. A little 184 on the old fire axe with and just gonna raid the front of the store first. Iron pickaxe, we're at level 188. Very nice. Gonna need another 44 iron for making the workbench and the cement mixer. Think of this same way? Eh, not really. Just some food. Oops, my bad. There we go. Raw meat. Just freaking tear. <laughs> Shouldn't take too long. Shamways aren't the most exciting, but you know, at least it'll get a little bit of food, maybe. I'd try rating them for seeds. Sometimes you can find the more uh, obscure seeds hiding in the Shamway box. What's in you? I have more Sham. I'm not really surprised to find Sham in uh, the uh, Shamway foods. Ooh, Mega Crush. Kind of a rare drink. Mega Crush gives you hydration and a little bit of wellness, but Mega Crush it gives you uh, it gives you uh, like I think really increased uh, melee damage. So it's like only well, it lasts for a short time, I think like a minute, but it's still really good for giving you a boost in melee damage. Scrap those cans down in the cooking pot. Search the trash can if I haven't. Yeah, and that's that's about it for old Shamwa here, aside from the coolers. More water. More jars. More of the same old same old. I think that's about it for old Shamwa here. So I'm out and about just doing some a renting of cars, and I've noticed, you know, just, you know, I'm just kind of moseying my way back over to the gun shop to pick up the rest of the parts, you know, notice there's a little bit of wandering horde over there. After I'm done around here just taking care of business for you know, renting up this whole car down. I get an engine. There we go. Very nice. I can do a little bit of time lapse for you. Quit taking out of these zombies.
So, a small little horde taken out, and, uh, and, uh, I did slow down just for a second in the time lapse for you guys. I did find the nail gun schematic off one of the zombies. So, nice little find over there. Like, sometimes, uh, zombies can do pretty well in loot, like, uh, so, like, uh, occasionally, like, I'll find, like, uh, just a bunch of ammo sitting on them, like, you know, it could be, like, 9mm, 7.62, uh, shotgun shells, and even, like, steel arrows, which is not a common drop out of them, but they do drop loot, and drop some pretty decent loot once in a while. I just, like I said, I was just doing some wrenching, just, just to get a car, heck. <laughs> Get an engine for another cement mixer, and I'm just grabbing all the gun parts out here. And I think uh, yeah, since I already found the engine fairly quickly, get that crafted up, and I'll meet you guys over at uh, the uh, the base uh, to do some more upgrades. Just come back over the base and I actually hear a screamer. I have been running forges all day, so what I want to do is I actually want to take her down nice and quietly. That way they don't call in a, a big old horde of zombies. So just get quiet here. I like a sneak damage bonus on her. So. And we got her. Just check to see if we're good over here because sometimes I get scrapes and scream without making an audible noise. I think we're looking alright. Managed to get away with that one. Yeah, do gotta be careful now of screamers hang uh, potentially hanging out with me. But anyways, just I will just show you that a little bit, and I'll just put my loot back and get some crafting sword out while I do some, while I get ready for upgrades. So as I'm just looking here at the base, uh, about to tear, tear down these maple trees because uh, they are full of grown now. I planted them uh, a few days ago, I think probably either on the day of the horde for day seven. Uh, so, I am making a couple uh, iron tools to make some more, get my crafting quality up, you know, better it'd be high time to get through that and start crafting all that stuff. And But my you know plan for the base is to get a second floor on it and then, you know, start putting storage and also my my crafting stations up there you know finally move out of that old house it's like it served me well but I definitely want to have some protection for screamers uh, uh, when uh now I'm starting to call them in and I would I would like to have uh, a more secure foundation for the base and I will definitely be improving the foundation outside the, uh, you know, little area I made the you know, at first for... Which I'll show in just a second once I'm done tearing down maple trees, but it's like, uh... Definitely one of those, it's like, uh... I'm excited to get out of the... Get out of that house and have some... Have action made. And there we go. Maple tree is done. If you made this far into the video, it's like, yo, definitely leave a comment if you if you see this, you know, like, yo, saying whether or not you knew this, but with trees, and I believe it could, still applies all the way up until, uh, the current PC version, which is, uh, Alpha 21 at the moment, but, uh, you can actually, uh, 
if you if you time it right with a zombie, you can actually get a you can actually think take a zombie out with a tree. It's, it's like you can actually that seems crazy, I know. But it's been shown like multiple times uh on videos uh throughout the game's life cycle, but you can actually like uh if a tree falls on a zombie I know especially in this version it'll it'll just instantly take him down. Kinda requires a little bit of predictive uh timing on your part, but it's just one of those little fun things, you know, you can I do that and it's like it doesn't happen all that often unless you're intentionally doing it but just a fun little thing yet yeah, if you if you're gonna do that just leave a comment down below anyways uh gonna just start upgrading some stuff and and I'll just time lapse for this seat for you guys Brief interruption here of the time lapse of uh, another screamer zombie kind of all in for for the old uh, forges and unfortunately I didn't get to take it down in time for uh, now we got some visitors. Screamer is definitely going to be a little bit uh, of a factor here. I'm not surprised. By that. Oh, sorry, Psycho Steve. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Plow my way through the garage door here. There you go, Psycho Steve. Yeah, not too big of a deal here. Just want to take these guys out real quick and I'll give you a small little update. Hey, level up. Anyways, back to the uh, time lapse. Take a quick little break on uh, the old uh, building front, but got the up to level 207 on fire axe. So we'll 
tool quality. So, unfortunately, I think uh, it's safe to say I failed it for the episode, which, uh, keep in mind I do this, uh, my parameters are on, uh, are judged by uh, whether I make it by night, uh, by night or not, usually. I think last episode was a bit of an exception. Uh, did I run out of fuel in this, uh, forge? Yes, I did. Give you just enough time to try not to give this thing so much fuel to blast into the forge, but it's uh, so it's like I just gotta call it there on the challenge. It's no big deal. It's like I got just other weapons to use. Anyways, uh, just wanted to give you that quick little update. Stone, so I'm gonna need to collect some more, but I'd say I'm really happy with uh, the progress I've made on day 11 despite failing the challenge, and I hope you can, you guys enjoyed this episode, and I thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.